Hey folks, Sean here, and in this episode, I want to talk to you about why you definitely do not need to quit your day job to succeed in B2B SaaS. Now, coming from someone who has done this full-time the stereotypical way, they call it struggle porn, for lack of better terminology, where there's some form of camaraderie or weird culture around suffering through trying to build a startup, I guess, is the only way I can really describe it, where you're supposed to be just barely getting by and obsessing over work and all this kind of other relatively unhealthy elements of your lifestyle that is supposed to be some kind of weird rite of passage when it comes to building a successful company. I've done that. That, in my opinion, huge mistake, doesn't add really any value at all and is totally unnecessary step. And on the other hand, I've done what I'm doing now, which is building a B2B SaaS application or several in this case, but doing it largely part-time and not overexerting myself in really any way, shape or form. I'm exclusively building B2B SaaS products and businesses in a sustainable way, as in the time that I would like to dedicate to it is the time that I put into it. Sometimes more, sometimes less, but that's pretty much it. And it all works out just fine if you're following the right process and you're working backwards from the goals that you'd like to achieve and when you'd like to achieve them. If you have that all relatively well organized, now of course there's going to be ups and downs because there just is when you're doing this kind of work. But if you're following the processes that I'm laying out and leveraging the strategies that I'm recommending and they're working for you like they're working for me, then the process can be a lot more straightforward than most would have you believe. Now, why do I say this? Why do I recommend this? Well, first and foremost, what's probably relatively obvious is the whole struggle porn thing. That's just totally unsustainable and borderline ridiculous. None of that is particularly necessary. And I could wax on for days about my issues with companies that have achieved great success and that being a key part of their supposed story. If that was part of their story, that's fine, but it doesn't mean it has to be part of yours. The other elements that I think are even more important is that I honestly favor the nights and weekends or the part-time approach because it's ultimately more than likely much more practical, reasonable, and significantly less risky for you. As in, don't quit your day job. If you have a day job and you like it for the most part, then keep it. And a portion of that funding can potentially go to putting a couple of dollars into seeing whether or not you can get a B2B SaaS product off the ground. Bonus points here is if your day job is in the industry or working with folks in the target market for for which you are planning to build a solution. That is a huge advantage. I'll talk about that more in another episode, but for now, really the takeaway that I want you to get from this episode is that you can absolutely do this part-time and successfully. That's what I'm doing now. And I think that's the only thing that really makes any sense until you figure out whether or not your product is really onto something. Like, is it achieving the kind of success you're looking for? If it is, great. And if it's achieving more success than you currently have at your day job, that might be the appropriate time to consider switching from one to the other. But after it's essentially been established and you've got a good track record and or history of it being able to replace your income from your nine to five or your your typical uh, job. If you figured that out, fantastic. If you haven't yet, then there's no reason to stop. So by all means, ignore the bad advice as much as you feel comfortable. Um, I've attempted that stuff, never really worked out all that well for me, and I much prefer this approach. So I just want to let you know that if you're not getting this message from somewhere else, you at least get it from me.